After you watch my reaction, you have to leave me a comment, leave everybody a comment and let us know what you thought of this performance. And everybody asks me how I went from having a terrible singing voice to now being a professional. And yes, I had a terrible singing voice. Every time I recommend the website Singer, you can learn to sing from home, you can learn to sing on your own time, you don't have to potentially embarrass yourself in front of a judgmental vocal coach like I had to do at times when I was first learning. Everything is on that site, you can trust the process, you don't have to look anywhere else as long as you are following those lessons. You could have a, a bad voice right now and it will turn you into an incredible voice that you are confident in, I guarantee it. What I recommend to everybody is just get started for free. Take a free 10 minutes singing lesson. Even if you don't really believe what I'm saying right now, try the free lesson. Record a little sec, a little section, a little part of your voice before the lesson. Go through it and record that same little like phrase to a song in voice memos. That way you have two audios to compare. When you compare those two audios, I'm not kidding, okay? You are going to hear an improvement. You're going to realize that I'm not just the crazy person on YouTube telling you that you can sing, that you can do it. And it gets me so excited, so passionate. When I hear people that have, have watched these reaction videos and the next thing you know, they try this free lesson and they leave comments and they're like, my gosh, like I actually can sing. Like this is a dream that I never pursued, but this whole time I, I could have pursued it and I probably look crazy up here because I'm a little bit crazy, especially when it comes to, to learning to sing because I'm so passionate about it. But anyway, I want you to know that you can do it. Don't give up on your dreams. Get started for free. I will see you in that free lesson after this reaction. So much love, let's get into it. All right, so you are going to get my first reaction to this performance and also throughout the reaction, I am going to debunk some of the myths around singing. So that being said, are you ready? Let's do this. <laughs> Coming out strong. Beautiful little note, too. Ooh, listen to this beautiful dynamic. She's coming out with that gorgeous, gorgeous, powerful belt, and now she's bringing it back, and I have a feeling she's going to go even into the stratosphere after she gets through this verse. Let's listen to it. Oh, beautiful E vowel. Oh my gosh, that's effortless. Oh, oh, listen to the vowel modification there. She's holding out that note, switching between an open vowel to that closed E vowel. Listen to this again. So clean. All right, real quick, I'm going to debunk the number one myth around singing, and that is that you have to be born with this great voice, that you have to just come out of the womb and have the voice of an angel. And I'm here to tell you that is so far from the truth. I used to have a terrible voice. There have been thousands of people that I've, that I've literally coached through singer, and they started out with not the greatest voice either. They started out with zero experience. And now so many of them have confident voices, incredible voices. You can go listen to their voice on the site and, and hear those success stories so you can know that I'm not just telling you this. And you can listen to some of my songs now and you can listen to one of my first recordings for proof. So I'm telling you, you don't have to be born with a great voice. If you can speak, you can sing. All you have to do is create a neural pathway in your mind, okay, to where you have that mind to vocal cord connection where when you think about a note, you're able to sing the note. Because right now, the reason that you don't like your voice is because you think about a note, you think about singing a song, but your voice just can't catch up to your mind. So you got it in here. We just have to connect the two and we can do that quickly with the right exercises. Ho, 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 ho. 
Okay. And already you can hear the differences in vocal textures, vocal tones. That's what's so just amazing about singing is everybody has such a unique voice. Whether you think you do or not, maybe you think you can't sing, but you have a unique voice in you. That's what vocal inflections are. Oh. A bit of rasp too, that's nice. Oh, look at the attitude. That almost sounded auto-tune. Listen to this pitch accuracy. Listen to the way that she holds this note out. And it just so perfectly blends with the instrumentation. <laughs> it makes, it makes it look easy. I mean, my gosh, the level of training, because they're all so young and they have those kinds of voices, the level of training that they've had to do at such a young age, because again, no one's just born with this great voice. You can develop a great voice, but you have to actually develop it. I mean, we need to give them props for all the work that they've put in. Gosh. Beautiful squeaky onset to the voice there. Oh, and a little slide, bringing it back. Those dynamics, so beautiful. And a lot of people don't realize that a lot of those high notes have to do with the breath and breath management. And opening up the vocal tract, which is your throat and your mouth. So keeping this nice and wide open, releasing the tension from a lot of the micro muscles within the neck that causes strain and kills beautiful voices. I'm telling you, even just with some simple relaxation techniques to drop so much of this tension that we're all carrying, your voice will open up, literally, I'm not kidding, and you might have a beautiful tone that you never realize you have because you're, you're keeping it in with all this tension. Touch, still closer, baby. We can get close enough. Still oh, it's a unique tone. Still one. Uh, oh my gosh, listen to the difference in styles there before powerhouse vocal now really kind of soulful Got a lot of vocal slides in there everyone is so unique everyone's voice is so unique The other myth about learning to sing is that it has to take so long and it doesn't if you're doing the right exercises. Now, that being said, it's not a magic pill. There's no fairy dust you can sprinkle. You have to put in some work, but really the best way to go about learning to sing is to do maybe 10, 15 minutes of practice in the shower, doing these certain exercises, following along with different audio video tracks or where in the car, just wherever you have 10, 15 minutes and do it daily, and then after a couple weeks, you're going to hear such an improvement. It's just most people don't actually do little improvements daily, or maybe they try to do things that they hear on a YouTube video, but it doesn't actually work. It's about doing the right things, but if you do the right things, you really just have to practice 10, 15 minutes a day. So with your oh. 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 Okay, they can, they can all belt. I love that raspy almost. There's still a bit of an airy texture to it in the voice. And that's because she's not compressing her vocal cords quite as much. So she's keeping them a bit open to let a little bit more air out, which can actually, you could argue, might like damage the voice. It, like if you do that too much over time, just doing it the wrong way, like that can damage the voice, but it sounds really cool. Oh, 
I love how she sounds out of breath now. I actually love that. Listen to this. This is a stylistic technique that every singer needs to know how to do. It's not that hard. A three note riff that you can add at the end of a phrase and it just, Ariana Grande does it all the time. It's done all the time in country music, R&B. Every style does a little three note riff and it's easy to learn. Okay, and you can add it to like the ends of any phrase when you just want to give it a little bit of style. Listen to this. Me, this pain I'm going through, did it there. Me, she did it two times in a row. And on that U, she changed that closed U vowel to almost like a ya, an open vowel, which helped her get up into that belting register. Okay. They have similar tone. Doing those three note riffs. <laughs> She's letting it go. Oh, that rasp. I want you guys to harmonize. I hope they I hope they harmonize it again. Now how powerful are these belts? But at the same time, from crafting a song, you don't want the whole thing to be powerhouse belts because then it's not impressive. If, if everything is impressive to the average viewer that doesn't know all of the nuances that are going on and how difficult that actually is, nothing seems impressive. So, so you, you also want to like sprinkle your belts and sprinkle your riffs and you, you don't want everything to just be like, like come out the gate just, you know, with everything because then the audience is not gonna, is just gonna feel overwhelmed. I can't sit still today with this with, the, with these vocals. So I can feel alive. Oh, that vibrato. Gosh. How would you know? Yeah. You won't give me some time to see if everything could work. And the pitch accuracy is just so good. And that they make it look easy and effortless, and it's difficult. Go off. Oh! What are we gonna do about that? We're gonna pretend that didn't happen and keep going or we're gonna replay it. I think we should replay it. Should I talk about it? I think I should just let it go and geek out because I would be pausing this for an hour talking about all of the, the skill sets that it took to pull that off. And you guys would be like, shut up, dude, keep playing it. So I'm just gonna, we're gonna let it go. We're gonna enjoy it. I'm not gonna break it down. We're gonna let it go. We're gonna enjoy it. Put your headphones on. Headphones on to listen to the textures. Gosh, put your headphones on, listen to this with me. A little squeak. So gorgeous, but again, it's so it's it's like so much. It this is amazing. But from a song perspective, like 
I could only hear this a couple times because everything is so impressive. And so just as like a little lesson for you as you're crafting your songs, a lot of people join Singer, they're able to do these belts, they're able to do the crazy riffs and runs. And then the first thing that they wanna do is they wanna add it to every part of the song. And that's not the way that it should be because your average listener doesn't know all of the difficult things you're doing. And, and to them, if there's no variance, if there are no dynamics of soft to loud, of belting, and then bringing it back with a, with a breathy texture, right? Even maybe some spoken word at times, and then, a, and then a crazy riff. But if all of it is belting and, you know, all of it are just these crazy riffs and runs, then, then nothing's going to seem impressive to the average viewer that's not like a vocal coach or maybe like you that knows a lot about the voice. But, but they're powerhouses. Another little three note riff, did you hear that? One other myth I'm gonna cover and debunk in this video is that it is your fault that you've tried to learn to sing in the past and you haven't been able to. And I'm here to tell you that it's actually not your fault, okay? Because if you were like me, when I was first starting, I was searching YouTube, I was taking from any coach I could. I was like, however much money I had saved up, I was throwing it at any coach I could find. I'm taking all kinds of online courses. I'm, I'm diving hours into the YouTube rabbit hole of learning to sing. Coming now out the other side, I can tell you that like 95% of the advice you're gonna get on learning to sing, even from, from some coaches, is not actually going to help you. Some might even damage your voice, but it's not really going to help you because a lot of them, they, they, they get money. What I had to realize is that they get money when you pay monthly, like you wanna keep going. So you don't just wanna learn it real quick. And so what, what many people don't realize is that there are actually like a few like game-changing exercises done in the right progression can get you a great voice so fast, faster than, than like, if, if I said it, you'd be like, yeah, right. You know what I mean? I, I would think the same way. So I'm not even going to say it, but that is a myth that it has to take a long time. Now, mastery level, that takes time. But just being able to get confident in your voice and singing where people like listen to you and they're like, you're good. Like, you sound good. That can happen pretty fast. Put your headphones on and listen to the way that they transition between different notes in the melody and they hit it just so spot on. It almost seems as, seems as if it's auto-tuned, it's not. It's just what happens when you have incredible pitch accuracy, you're able to land perfectly on each note within the melody, which is so fun from someone who was never able to sing on pitch to now being able to do that. It's like, it, it, that is just so fun to be able to do. But the other thing is that listen to all these little stylistic techniques, listen to the little three note runs in particular, Every one of them uses it and it proves the point that that is a riff. That is a little stylistic technique, that little three note descending riff. Okay, it's just three notes down at the end of a phrase and uh, it just, it, it works with any style and it, and it sounds so good and they're using it all over the place in the song. Something that you need to learn. Hey, what's up? I just wanted to remind you that you can take that free singing lesson at any time. The link is in the description you are going to be shocked. So hopefully I'll see you there after this reaction. All right, let's get back to it. A lot of vocal slides. It's interesting. Her style is much more of like a like a crooner, like like just a lot of vocal slides as note transitions, and she's not using those little three note riffs as note transitions. Interesting. There it was. She had another one real quick. Come on. Hey! 
What a belt! Oh my god. That is so difficult to do. They make it look so easy. I just have to say that. That onset, right on pitch. Feel it! Come on, harmonize! Oh, oh, oh. I, I know what that feels like. They're unreal singers. They can't hear themselves in their in-ears, and so the harmonies are a little off-tune at parts. It's not their fault. It's that this is for a show and the mix engineer mixed them all individually and then probably didn't like turn some down in some of their, and maybe one or two of their in-ear mix. And so it's like they're trying to sing, they're trying to tune to their voice, but, but they can't even hear their own voice and they're just hearing the other girls, what they're singing. That is difficult. That, that's like trippy. You, you literally just have to rely on muscle memory at that point. Really difficult. Still good though. So so listen listen though to how important it is to have a good blend when you're harmonizing, meaning if the lead is doing a straight tone, don't do vibrato. Vibrato is where the pitch oscillates. It oscillates up and down basically between the main note that you're trying to sing. If someone's gonna be oscillating and the other vocalist is gonna be doing a straight tone and the other vocalist has a really kind of nasally um, tone there and the other one's belting it, the other one's singing it quietly, then it's gonna sound, it, there's gonna be a dissonance. It's not gonna sound like a, like a beautiful harmony. Yeah, so, yeah, the vibrato wasn't matching there. Oh, poor thing. That's an, that was an in-ear problem. They're amazing. That was an in-ear problem. Woo! Unreal. I mean, unreal. The talent is unreal. Leave me a comment right now. Let me know what you thought. The community's fun. YouTube's fun because you get to hear my opinion, but then I want to hear yours and everybody else wants to hear yours. So now you got to leave a comment, leave a paragraph or two and share your opinion. And then the lesson I'm going to leave you with as well is that it's important to know how to do all those different riffs and runs. It's important to know how to belt. It's important to know how to just like wow the audience with your voice. But the key is to then know when to add that in. Be, be, be very intentional where you add the skillful notes, where you add really showing off your skill set once you have it. Be intentional where that's going to be in the song. Don't be a show off. Don't just put it in everything. Now I know that that performance was for them to for them to go in and show off, and and I'm glad they did. It was unreal. But for you when you're performing, if you really want the audience to not just be like, "Wow, they're so good," it's one thing to say like, "You're you're such an amazing singer," and it's another thing to be like, "You are my favorite artist. Like you moved me, you impacted me." Those are two different things, and you don't need to just be riffing and running and belting out these like crazy high notes all the time to really move somebody emotionally. It's about knowing where to implement them in the song. So anyway, I'm gonna leave you with that. So much love for you. And I have to tell you, if you want to unlock your voice, go check out the website. It's in the YouTube description and in the top comment. It's called Singer. Again, people ask me all the time how I went from having a terrible singing voice. I did, it was really bad, to now being a professional singer. And every time I recommend the website Singer, because you can learn to sing from home, you can learn to sing through videos, but you're like practicing along with them and you don't have to embarrass yourself in front of a potentially judgmental vocal coach and throw down money every month just to take you know 30 minute lessons you have everything on demand it's, it's awesome and and I, i'm so confident to say that if you trust that process like you don't even have to think if you want an amazing voice even if you think you have a terrible voice a bad voice right now if you trust that process that will get you an amazing voice i'm not kidding even if you're like yeah right dude i have a terrible voice Get started for free, try the free lesson, 
record your voice before it, then go through it and record your voice after it. So now you have like two audios to compare to so that you have proof to hear if you've actually improved or not. And I really believe that you're gonna be shocked at that. And then don't just stop there. When you join Singer, you're gonna have the full process. That will get you an amazing voice, even if you think you have the worst voice right now. I started out with a bad voice. I had so much self-doubt when I first started. I was like, there's no way I can do this. But once I started, oh my gosh, I was able to learn. Same with so many people that join Singer. They all tell me, they're like, I doubted myself so much. They said that they related to me, really. And they said like, you know, I just thought I had a bad voice. I thought you had to be born with it. And you don't at all. You know, you can develop an amazing voice and we all battled with self-doubt at first. So don't let that stop you. The link is in the description. Go take the free lesson. Get started with the free lesson. I will see you in the free lesson. So much love for you. I'll talk to you soon. Peace. But for your eyes get stars above I'll spend some good I have to keep you up I'll be there I won't let down No, you can't count